What's up guys, welcome back to Unlimited Reads. My name is Chris and today I'll be doing my spoiler free review of The Mother by T.M. Logan. This is Tim's seventh standalone thriller, only released this month and it's all Tim's fault that I'm really, really tired today at the time of filming this. So we have our main character, Heather, who wakes up one morning and comes downstairs and finds that her husband, Liam, has been murdered. Now, given there is no sign of forced entry on the premises and that her fingerprints are on the butcher knife, on the surface it looks like a very clear open and shut case. And I don't think the police realise that uh, this case may be a little bit too perfect. So Heather is charged and goes to prison for a 20 year term. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong Tim but uh, she is released on license after 10 years or parole and she's only got one thing on her mind to bring justice to Liam and expose whoever was responsible for his death and to get her two sons back before she loses them forever. She knows she's innocent, we know she's innocent and it's up to her to uncover the unthinkable truth. I really like how the book was written in the first person, uh, how we experience everything from Heather's point of view. I think that was a major ingredient that worked really well in the book and it's the best way to bond with a main character in a novel like this. It makes you sympathetic to what the character is trying to do and to experience her emotions and thoughts. So I think uh, Tim hit the nail on the head choosing the point of view for this novel. It really worked well and all you're doing is rooting for Heather the whole time. Uh, she's such a you know she's a unique character she she's very strong uh, she's very three-dimensional and uh, yeah I um, I really had a good rapport with her all throughout the book I really like how Heather got some help from a couple of unlikely sources a couple of very likable characters and uh, they just fit very well together I thought they played off each other very very well and uh, it was just good to see that Heather didn't have to do it all on her own uh, I thought that was uh, a really enjoyable part of the book the twist at the end it is unbelievable uh, we find out who was actually behind the plot to murder Liam and you are never going to guess it not in a million years I couldn't figure it out um, until the very end when I had a really uh, what the fuck moment I couldn't believe it when it was finally revealed I'm like oh my god no way um, all through the book you will kept guessing and uh, the final reveal is just, it, it's frightening. So you're in for a real treat with the twist that of course I'm not going to reveal anything here. There's no spoilers on these book reviews guys, but uh, the twist, the twist at the end was phenomenal, let me say. And uh, the ending was really, really good. Um, I'm not gonna go too much into that because it will spoil a few things, but just know that it is a perfect denouement in my opinion. Well, there's only one character I like the best, and that is the main character, Heather. It's a no-brainer for me. The lengths she goes to to find out who killed Liam is pretty impressive and clever. She has to draw upon all her strength and resourcefulness to achieve that. Uh, I also like the dynamic between her and Jodie, who she meets at the hostel. Uh, Jodie is a, um, an addict and ends up helping uh, Heather uh, get to the bottom of what has happened. and. Uh, yeah, really was a bit of um, an emotional roller coaster with her character, which again, I'm not going to spoil anything, but uh, I thought her character was really, really good. And I think uh, working together with Heather, I think that was a really vital ingredient to the characterization of the novel. I can't say who I liked the least because if I mention it, it's going to give the plot away of the book and I'm not going to do that. So uh, anyone who's read the book will probably know who I would pick. But if I was to pick someone, it would probably be, probably be uh, the police detective Musgrove. I uh, didn't like him at all and uh, you know, just didn't like his character and what he does uh, to Heather. Uh, it's like he gaslights her and uh, gives her hope when uh, the hope wasn't really there. Uh, so I think, yeah, he is a character who um, I didn't like at all, but uh, can't reveal the one who I like the least, unfortunately. Guys, you're gonna have to find that out for yourself.
I think the book's length was just perfect. I think it was about uh, 400 odd pages, which is just about perfect for a thriller like this. It's enough, it's, you know, it's not too short, it's not too long. It, uh, you know, it's just long enough to enjoy and spend a few days on. Now, it took me almost a week to read it, unfortunately, because I've got so much going on in the old professional life and uh, that sort of thing, and just haven't had as much time to devote to reading as I normally would. But uh, every opportunity I got, I was just turning those pages and uh, I think, you know, a really good thriller, anything between 350 and 400 pages to me is the perfect length really. Yeah, look, I really, really like the cover art of the book. I thought it was uh, very well done. When I had Tim on the channel, I commented on that. And uh, he has very good people who does the artwork for him. And uh, it's just, you know, the, the bold uh, text, the how the text is set, and the, the color usage is really great. And it's very eye-catching if you were to come across it on the shelves. So uh, yeah, hats off to uh, the artists who do uh, Tim's book covers. I think they're stunning, to be honest. I think mainly the book made me feel satisfied overall. It was nail biting and I just had to find out who the murderer was at the end. And uh, it was a very satisfying ending. It was nail biting, it had me on the edge of my seat. But uh, just overall it was really, really satisfying um, to read. So overall, I mean, look, the book is addictive. It's very well written. The characters were great. They were all three dimensional. I think Heather's plight was very, very uh, stressing. Uh, you really, really felt for her. The first person viewpoint was fantastic. It was a perfect choice of viewpoint for the book, in my opinion. The highlight is the twist at the end. I can't really praise it enough because it was so well hidden right until the end and that was very very clever and you just would not suspect this person in a million years so you know you might have your suspicions uh, along the way but uh, ultimately i would challenge you to guess who the killer was um before the last third of the book you just won't do it so uh if you like a really good twist in a thriller book look no further this is the book to buy please go out and buy it download it on your kindle if you're here in australia like me uh, i think it only cost about 12 or 13 dollars to actually download onto your kindle you just won't regret it and i recommend you'll be staying up late because i'm tired and uh, i think i finished at about um, one o'clock in the morning so uh, in my opinion tim did his job uh, kept his reputation as the uh, master of the up all night thriller and uh, I think Tim would be pretty chuffed that he um, did a good job for uh, keeping me uh, awake that long and uh, wouldn't surprise me if uh, there were countless people who uh, were kept up late as well finishing this awesome book. So uh, yeah, fantastic read guys. I can't recommend it enough. So there you go guys. That is it for my spoiler free review of The Mother. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, offer up any comments or feedback below. I'll always respond to that. If you've read The Mother, let me know what you think. Let's compare notes. But coming up on the channel, a couple of videos I've got planned. I do want to do a cover reveal for a particular book that's released later this year. I know that the US cover for this book has been released and looks awesome. I just want to wait until the UK cover is revealed before I do that video because I would like to compare both covers and really talk up this book uh, to build some excitement for when it's released later in the year. I'll also look at possibly filming early next week my author guest wish list of who I ultimately want on the channel next. So look out for that one. And uh, yeah, but until the next video, guys, I'll see you later.